Summative assessment, summative evaluation, or assessment of learning is the assessment of participants where the focus is on the outcome of a program. This contrasts with formative assessment, which summarizes the participants' development at a particular time. Summative assessment is widely taught in educational programs in the United States. This test is usually done after the grading period where you set standards if they are met. For example, after a grading a period you will giving a test to know if the student learned something in the whole grading period and usually this is a part of the grading system used to measure academic achievement of the student or pupil. Summative assessment definition. Any method of evaluation performed at the end of a unit that allows a teacher to measure a student's understanding, typically against standardized criteria. The purpose of summative assessment is to gauge students' comprehension of the material presented at the end of a particular unit of work and is often measured with a grade or percentage, depending on the subject. The goal of summative assessment is to evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional unit by comparing it against a standard or benchmark. Note, the end does not necessarily mean the end of an entire course or module of study. Summative assessments may be distributed throughout a course, after a particular unit or collection of topics has been taught, and there are advantages to doing so. In many disciplines in the UK higher education sector, there has been a move away from 100% end-of-course assessments to a model where summative assessments are distributed across a course, which helps to scaffold students' learning. What is the goal of a formative assessment? The goal of formative assessment is to monitor student learning to provide ongoing feedback that can be used by instructors to improve their teaching and by students to improve their learning. More specifically, formative assessments help students identify their strengths and weaknesses and identify strengths. Summative assessment usually involves students receiving a grade that indicates their level of performance. Be it a percentage, pass or fail, or some other form of scale grade. Summative assessments are weighted more than formative assessments. For example test after six months in schools. Semester exams after each six months. Summative assessments are often high stakes, which means that they have a high point value. Examples of summative assessments include, a midterm exam, a final project, a paper, or a senior recital. Summative assessment is used as an evaluation technique in instructional design. It can provide information on an intervention's efficacy its ability to do what it was designed to do. Summative evaluation judges the worth, or value, of an intervention at its conclusion. Summative assessments are usually given at the end of a unit. Educator performance. Summative assessment can be used to refer to assessment of educational faculty by their respective supervisor, with the object of measuring all teachers on the same criteria to determine the level of their performance. In this context summative assessment is meant to meet the school or district's needs for teacher accountability. The evaluation usually takes the shape of a form and consists of checklists and occasionally narratives. Areas evaluated include classroom climate, instruction, professionalism, and planning and preparation. 
Methods of summative assessment aim to summarize overall learning at the completion of the course or unit. Questionnaires surveys interviews observations testing specific test created by the teacher or establishment made to include all points of a unit or specific information taught in each time frame projects a culminating project that synthesizes knowledge. Summative assessment examples. Examples of summative assessments may include written assessment. Students will be tasked with writing an original piece, such as a narrative or analytical essay. Performance assessment. With this type, students will be required to do an activity or task that will showcase their abilities. Standardized assessment – Students will take an exam created for a given curriculum and will be measured against existing rubric, shared with the students throughout the course. Oral assessment – Students will craft and deliver an oral piece, such as a speech or presentation. Additional summative assessment ideas as well as the examples above, teachers can also incorporate more creative methods into their teaching. Here are some additional summative assessment ideas that go beyond the traditional quiz or written report classroom or school-wide scavenger hunt on the material presented crossword puzzle incorporating math problems or vocabulary words classroom or school-wide science fair. Teachers select summative assessment strategies that best suit their students and the material covered in the curriculum. Assessment strategies chosen will have clearly defined parameters in order to effectively test students' knowledge and or skills. How does summative assessment affect teachers? The high-stake nature of summative assessment translates into how the school performance is judged. An SLT often pass down pressure as a result. Statutory assessment, therefore, can cause a great deal of stress for pupils, and a high degree of pressure for teachers. Summative versus formative assessments. Formative assessments are the other main type of assessment that also evaluates student learning but is often more informal. It includes quizzes, projects, answering questions in class and via teacher observation. Summative assessment is a formal method of evaluation and does not take into consideration teacher opinion like some methods of formative assessment. Summative exams end with an exact grade while many student-created projects are more difficult to assess. Attributions. Thank you. Please subscribe to this channel if you reach this far. And like and share to support this channel. And hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest contents.